Yo Troops, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about Cyberpunk Waifus in Aether Gazer, an action RPG currently in CBTs. We're gonna be giving thoughts, first impressions, not to mention tier list and reroll stuff. Download on TapTaps for best experience IMO. Let's jump right into this. Go into the modifiers right here, and then we're gonna take a look at Okuni Nushi. Hopefully I said that right. All that matters is she is the Cyberpunk Waifu that you need to pay attention to. She got the twin tails going on, but let me show you this pose right here. Acting angry, it is absolutely perfect. Captures that Rebecca vibe. And then gun lifted, even more so. Man, I miss cyberpunk edge runners. You have no idea. But anyways, let's jump right into the combat. So you guys can see what this is all about. We've talked about the waifus. The most important part to any gacha game, in my opinion, how collectible. And we're going to be going into this stage, 4-6. It's going to be a boss stage. These are going to be our lineups. We got Okunushi, Asura, and I believe the blue-haired waifu is Poseidon. By the way, visually standing, I love this game. Like, it is such a clean sight to see. This is going to be the boss. He's going to be doing a robot dance of sorts, I guess. And yeah, let's get right into it. You have your walking animation. You can move. It is so slick. On the right hand side, you have your auto attacks and she's going to be teleporting over theirs. And then we have her little support ability that changes up her DPS, I think, or the way she does her attacks, right? So you can just spam your autos and it looks so good. Like I have no idea why, but I like this a little bit better comparative to other games, but maybe it's just my sense of style and the way I prefer things, right? So she has this little bullet shotgun thing. I love it. It makes me feel like even more Rebecca vibes in my opinion. And then right here is my favorite attack from her. This is going to be her ultimate. She jumps up in the air. We do a little bit of the breakage. And what's really nice here, I can trigger my support ultimates right there. She does like the 15 fist of death. You do the little javelins. It's kind of good to do it right there. And then right here, she summons a little rabbit robot thing and it punches the heck out of everything. We get nice big fat damage and we do the wins. I love it. This victory screen, it gives me even more cyberpunk like waifu vibes, if you know what I mean. But at the end of the day, is the combat good? How is the gameplay? How is the flow? I love it quite a bit. I love it to the point where I can just complete another stage and talk about the gameplay again. And you guys know I never do that. Why am I doing that? Because it is very fast paced in Aether Gazer. I think the one detriment, if I were to give some feedback during the closed betas, is that there is a difficult time farming, you know, materials and stuff, EXP. I think any action RPG sort of has that problem because you're more on, you know, your fingers, you're on your toes, you're paying attention to what's going on in the gameplay. So you can't just be sitting there and doing absolutely nothing. You actually have to be paying attention to the game. So with that being said, map farming is usually the most boring and non fun thing I have to say. So you have to, I guess, make it a little bit better. That's all I'm trying to say to the devs at the end of the day. Like make it so that you have more skip ticket functionality and all that stuff. But outside of that, the gameplay itself, it's a treat. I usually never jump into combat more than once in these sessions. And I want to show off the gameplay as much as I possibly can because I think it's beautiful. Just look at the ending screens. There's so much style. A lot of games don't nail action RPGs because it feels a little too, I don't know, standstill. The camera angles aren't right. Here, everything hits. Getting into the zone. I don't get into the zone in action RPGs. In fact, I usually dislike them quite a bit. At least, you know, playing on phones, but this one feels great. All right, let's talk about the UI. Scan is going to be the summon feature. We'll talk about the best units a little bit later. You have Mio right here. It's going to be like your supporter style. You have like these little cat dudes and they provide like skill effects and all stuff. Time and she has like chips that makes it so that, you know, you increase your dodge rate and whatnot. Pretty cool there. That's going to be Functor. This is going to be, I guess, sort of like your artifact system in some ways. What's interesting is you can hail and you can actually summon different artifacts, but specific ones go to specific characters. For example, the Shikigami Eithne. It's recommended for this unit in particular. I'm not sure if you saw it. It's like a little right hand corner. So hailing is the summon feature. It's a little confusing, but we can cover it more in case you want in the comments. Shop is going to be, you know, your standard shop systems where you can buy different things. I love it. There's no loading screens. It feels great. Inventory, standard stuff. We got a lot of summons we can go through. But yeah, mail. Everything about this game is just really polished. I'm not sure why people aren't talking about it a little bit more. 
I think maybe because the advertising isn't as strong as something as like Arknights or something. But at the same time, there's like different game modes. You have like challenges and all this stuff, right? I guess this is gonna make me sort of do stuff, gameplay descriptions. I don't believe there is like PVP, but feel free to correct me. There's sigils, there's the supply runs, which is essentially map farming. Speaking of like map farming, let's just see if I can do it. So you can only do up to two runs. If you want to unlock more runs, then I have to be like admin level 40, which isn't going to take long. I think that would take you like mm, maybe a couple days worth of playing. And I'm just going to go ahead and show like the map farming really quick and how it can take like some time. There's a heavy emphasis in combat in this one. Like I just got to say it, but I love jumping in here because the combat just feels fast paced. It's my vibe and I think it's just, you know, the action RPG that I wanted on my phone devices personally. This isn't sponsored because I do have like my gripes with the game where the map farming could be improved. The ambiance is good, but at the same time, I'm not connected to the characters as much because I'm skipping around on the story. But I like how there's a brief summary towards everything. Honestly, I'm picking at straws as to why I dislike the game, but I want to give like an honest opinion when I do these things, regardless if I get in CBTs or whatever. Thank you, you know, for allowing me to even play the game. But at the end of the day, is it fun? I greatly enjoy it. I love just getting into combat and just plowing away at enemies. I don't know why. Put Adam Smasher in this game. I'll love it even more. I'm pretty sure there's like an Adam Smasher style sort of dude in here. And I love how you zip around. Okay, enough of that. Let's talk about like the best units and stuff. So here's going to be like the spreadsheets and stuff. Modifiers, you know, the, the main waifus. There's going to be has bondos as well in case you guys are curious. You can see all the different skills. It's more of like a translation thing. Also, in case you guys are curious, what are the bare minimum requirements? So here it is, two gigs at least. Back here on the home screens, we're going to go into user right here. You can switch account. There's going to be a delete account button. I don't recommend doing that right now because CBTs. But I think that's going to be the way to make this game easy to reroll. The fact that this button is there, there's also buying a third party account, third party account. I can't talk. Most important thing is that this game seems like it can do it. So hopefully that's going to be the way to reroll. Delete your account from this main menu right here and go from there. If not, just make a bunch of emails like we do or salted emails. But we'll get to it once the game actually releases. Just want to cover the reroll stuff really quick. And then here's going to be the tier list. Now, I got this from a Reddit user. Thank yous to Riku Boy for the tier list infos and whatnot. So I just made it a little bit more beautiful. Poseidon, best CC, S Oku, or she's going to be like a Rebecca style waifu, single pistol. She's going to be a support, unfortunately, but I don't care. Kotachi is going to be decent swordsman and tier. Now, in case you guys want to look at some of them, we can go to modifiers right here. CBT has been insanely generous, so I have like most of the S rank characters. Rahu right here is awesome. And then she's like the fist waifu Poseidon. She's a CC that we were talking about earlier. Here's going to be Tyr. He has like a shield thing, difficult play style, but really cool. And then here's gonna be Kagutsushi. She's gonna be like a samurai, a little bit slow paced gameplay. And here is the best waifu that you can acquire during the CBTs and probably one of the best waifus that you can reroll for once the game releases. She's going to be our first limited unit. Name is Jine Kanoin Tokatachi. Yeah, I definitely, I nailed it. All right, let's go ahead and do the summon. So if you're going to be rerolling, I recommend going for her and the summon animations in this game. Oh man, I messed it up. Bro, just connect. I know how to put it in. You know what I mean, right? All right, it's purple, don't meme it up. But at the same time, I totally understand. And there we go. Just a very straightforward animation. I believe a lot of these are going to be funk tours. They're not gonna be actual modifiers. Modifiers are the waifus or units that you can play as. So here they are, Harold the Hippo. I like you guys. Now give me a gosh darn character, Drifting Flurry Leviathan. That's gonna be the waifu that we got for this one. Also, I did not check the rates. We got some rewards earned. Let's go into details right here. And let's see, 1.6%, 7.8%. And yeah, so 2.4% rates. That's not great, but it's all right. Look at the modifier, 70 more tries. So it's going to be 80 to pity, which I think is the same as Tower of Fantasy, if I remember correctly. All right, I might be hitting pity, but we got more than enough. And I think you can hit pity at least like once a month in this game, depending on how you play. Don't quote me on that, but I feel like this is going to be a very really free to play game knowing Yostar is the publisher, right? So Frost Frang Vidar, she's going to be the waifu right there. 
Bro, give me Jin A or, you know, another copy of Oku so I can make my Rebecca cult even stronger. Please come gold. I would love that. Shikigami Seraphina. Oh, we got like a, oh, modifier obtained. Surefire Zenkebu Tengu. Was I clicking too fast? I didn't get that animation for, uh, maybe it's because that's the first time I got her, but I guess a little bit something something for, you know, newer characters that have not been seen yet. Oh, so, oh, that's going to be our, I guess, rare. She was, was that it? I, I got no animations. I'm, I'm confused with this summon animation just a little bit, but just know I'm easily confused. It's absolutely fine. And let's see, can we get a little bit of a gold? I would love, oh, oh the innocent Osiris. She was looking pretty clean right there. Get an A on it. So yeah, that's going to be our modifier. <laughs> I wish they, they made like a better name, like a simpler name, but I'm sure there's a lot more context that I'm missing and I'm just being ignorant right now, okay? I totally, ooh, Dark Mistletoe Holder. I like you a lot. Holder? What? Okay, let's see. We got another waifu. I didn't get her name. Bro, these summon animations, it's tripping me up because I want to get excited, but <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> am I clicking too fast? Should I click slower? I'm shotgunning from tilt as well because I'm not getting the waifu that I want, which kind of infuriates me at the same time but you know it is what it is because you know 2.4 percent rates but hey 80 pity we're getting ever so much closer we got the anchor waifu once again s rank guaranteed with every 70 bro you haven't moved an inch i wish that number would be like you're four <gasps> yes yes i mean i'm gonna shut up gold give me jean a don't give me a dupe don't you dare do it pharaoh octaten octaten Yes, okay, that's the modifier obtained. Divine Grace, we got Cock Rage, Croc Rage the Beck, something like that. All right, bro, yes, modifier obtained. Give it to me, high concert. I asked for this. I love this. Yes, yes, I wanted this, okay? No regrets, no rag rats whatsoever. Rebecca, come home. Give me another copy. Lay it on to me thick, bro. I love it. You know what? I, I asked for it. I got what I wanted. There, I have no qualms. But now we're full tilt, like rage summoning until I get the character. Bro, I got like a hundred and- Oh wait, we got- I couldn't even be excited. I could not even be excited because of how tilted I was, bro. I'm on a different one today. Jin A has been obtained. And let's go ahead and look at her right here. She is looking voluptuous and awesome. And for some odd reason, you remind me a lot of Adam Smasher. I don't know why. Maybe it's the black and red, but man, the jiggle physics, they're on a different level on this one. Let's cover everything and what I think about Aether Gazer as a whole. This game, I think is definitely worth a play. Download it on TapTap -Tap when it releases. I think it provides something a little bit different in the action RPG genre. And what it brings better to me is it's happier feeling which is weird to say a lot of the action rpgs we play are kind of post-apocalyptic to the highest degree so i want to think this is like a better scenario you know the scenario where it's gonna be a good time the good ending you know rebecca in her prime as oku you know what i'm just making stuff up but i do like this game i need to check out the story a little bit more and I think the combat feels great. I usually don't touch it too often, especially on action RPGs. So once it releases sometime in November, December, I don't know, sometime in Q4 2022, I definitely recommend folks to play it. And yeah, best unit to go for is Jin A, the waifu that we were covering a little bit earlier. And I'm gonna test her out in combat. In case you guys want more videos of Aether Gazer, just let me know, but today's the last day. I'll read it in the comments and I'll post something up and get something together. Recommend this game, Visuals UI, pre monetization, pre as far as I know, unknown because there's a lot of giveaways. Yo Star is usually good, but we'll see. Hopefully they didn't pull a revive witch, gameplay, pre and yeah, rates, not pre -em. I hate that, Trooms. Anyways, if you made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. We'll see 40,000 subs are doing a giveaway. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day and see you guys in the next one.